Cobb TV. Watch your life make sense. What is a spiritual teacher? What's a guru, as they would call it in the East? Well, I can't tell you what they call it in the East, but uh, we can all see that there are special people in the sense that they attract people. They turn people into slaves, uh, their servants. They force people, they can compel people to accept them as something special beyond human. They enslave people, they subjugate them, they perhaps are using them uh, for money or, uh, well, of course, for respect and domination. They're using it, well, perhaps other um, other means, uh, perhaps over other kinds of uh, satisfactions. But the spiritual teacher that Kabbalah requires, uh, in other words, the Kabbalah spiritual teacher has to show himself to the teacher in a genuine way, and even more than genuine. He should show the student what a person who corrects himself, who corrects his ego, what he's going to feel along the way, what kind of disappointments, failures, questions. So he's got to be straight with him, he's got to be honest with the students. He's got to be straightforward and honest. He's got to teach the student to go along the way and go with it without being dependent on the teacher. Okay, so his job is to direct or guide the student towards yes. a goal. Yes. And, he... and to be next to him okay. until the student will not stray. No, but the, there's still a relationship here. One's upper and one's lower, or one's greater and one's lesser. Okay. Yes, but, but, but the whole study, you know, the teaching of the teacher is to make the student independent, to, to walk alone. Okay, so it's like the old uh, analogy, um, if the uh, teacher, if the pupil doesn't surpass the teacher, the teacher has failed kind of idea. Okay. Well, you can put it that way. So, but we're in a situation where, I mean, the, the teacher is higher than the student, and how do you not get trapped into being taken advantage of or falling prey to a slave master situation? The teacher must, must, the teacher, with all kinds of means, reject the student for himself, confuse the student, play all kinds of tricks on the student so the student okay. doesn't or can't attach to him like a small one and a greater one. Or a, he's got to cause a, give him a hard time. But how can I, as the student, discern what's going on there? Discern if, you're, if you or any other uh, guide is being straight, is being honest. How do I know? A teach, a real teacher, takes you and shows you where to go to the Creator and shows you how to be closer and closer to Him while the teacher himself only explains the way. That's it. Like a school teacher. Just like that. Okay. While he himself, the teacher, hides himself as if, nah, I'm just giving you the way to take But the I, forward. as the pupil, am not really going to believe or trust him if I don't believe he's great and has something that I want, that I don't have. How can you test if he's great? Only by your desire, if you want a certain purpose. You think about it, and he explains it to you in a rational way about how to advance, how to come closer. And you have a desire for that goal. And the teacher explains what to do with that desire, how to work with it. So with your own logic, with what you have in your own heart and mind, you understand that he is the right one for you. You have no other tools. You can't test him or measure him before you've come to his place. So you use the tools okay, you have. It's that always in, like that. that in life. But don't believe. Not, it's not about believing. It's about criticizing him. And okay. you test if he's really the right one to turn you 
is to, to give you a method to turn yourself into something spiritual. Okay, so uh, I, I, I have to have some trust in a teacher, do I not? Can I, can I criticize everything and scrutinize everything yes. he says? Yes. I have to take some things on faith, so to speak. You have, no, 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 okay. no, 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 not on faith. There is no faith here, okay. no faith. There's a test here. Criticism, intellectual and emotional only. Okay, so I have to feel it within me if you are giving me the right information. It has to feel right within me. Yes, you feel that according to your desire and to your Okay, intellect. a lot of the spiritual teachers, though, that we see that end up, you know, the students end up in bad situations, they end up being taken advantage of, money, sexual, whatever it may be, they are following something that they want, their desire to receive for self, pleasure, and, you know, a teacher may say, well, it's this way and it's going to feel good. So how can I escape following something that's going to be good for me. In Kabbalah, a teacher is someone who doesn't bring the student pleasure, but suffering. The teacher teaches him how to rise above his ego, how to go against the pleasant and good things. And so you're saying that uh, a, a spiritual guide in Kabbalah makes life worse for the student in a sense of course of is, course is this a loving yes. thing to do e moreover just you know the more you advance the more you start hating him you start hating thinking the teacher you okay. wanna, yeah you want to wait for him to die <laughs> okay because he's he's making your life bitter he's telling you you have to get rid of all the good things the, you know, the ones you have. Wait, wait, I understand. Is this a dynamic that exists in nature? Like the, the individual to the creator? Yes. Okay. What yes. kind of a loving creator is? With the creator, it's the same. We, we want, if I could kill him, I would. <laughs> of course I want to kill the creator. Because what he wants of me is to rise above my ego, uh -huh. get rid of all the good things. Instead, I have to give to others, to love others, to think about others. What for? I want to think of me. That's it. Is that a good creator who tells me, think of others, don't think of yourself? Of course I don't love him. <laughs> 